camera, please. Ah, oh, oh. ah, the call of the wild. Habits of the local species. <sighs> the flight of majestic birds. <laughs> the bond between parent and child. Doing what animals do. It doesn't get any wilder than this. Oh yeah. The bull new leads his herd across treacherous jungle territory. Through risky, uncharted regions. To their inevitable destination, the summer grazing land. Somehow, the summer grazing land looks different this year. For my sister's moving her family to Freeborn. That means my nephew Louis will be living here permanently. Of course, I couldn't let Louis just arrive a complete stranger. That's why I invited all. Freeborn to see my family vacation films. No problem. Just got to repair a little tear in the film. How about photos? Here's one. Here's a photo of my nephew Louie. Of course, you might ask what I know about being an uncle. Well, I know. And of course, with the, well, I think it's fairly obvious. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Louis hasn't even arrived yet, and already I'm a disappointment. I need a crash course in uncling. <laughs> Will you quit moving around? <laughs> it's pinching. Come on, Dodo. This is my last chance to get this diapering thing right. Are they supposed to ride up like this? Anyone? Wait, guys! I forgot the baby powder. <laughs> Ta-da! Here's my nephew Louis. Do you know you are the cutest little bug in the whole world? One hears rumors. Does he talk? Yes, he does. Go ahead, Louis. Say hi to your new friends. <laughs> See? What do you say? What's the matter with you? Can't you grasp that this sort of exchange is a simple social exercise in harmless encouragement? He said all that. Careful, Watch it. Watch it. What's he blathering about? That's a speech impediment, Eugene. Trust me, the kid is brilliant. I got belly button lint bigger than you. Me. I'll keep that in mind if I ever need a good hiding place. I bet your mom moved here because she knows your uncle Lyle has a lot to teach you. Really? I thought it had something to do with climate. Of course, intelligent people do run in our family, Louis. In fact, when it comes to our pride, there's just no off position on the genius switch. Yeah! Wow. If Lyle's a genius. It makes you really feel for all those other guys. Uh oh, it's that big annoying mouse. Yo, oh, cutie patootie. Oops! Oh, jeez! Stop! Quiet! Lions are predators, Louie, which means we're expected to be very sneaky. A good stalker should be invisible to the unsuspecting eye. Oh boy, the fish sure are biting today. If that's Uncle Lyle's idea of hunting, 
I guess his lucky vegetarian pizza doesn't have a survival instinct. Many skills come naturally to a lion, Louie, but carpentry isn't one of them. And you never know if someday, somewhere, somehow, all that might stand between you and comfort is a single piece of lumber. Wow. I'd have bet anything he couldn't have come up with an example. Hey, little fella. How'd you like to help your new buddy Dodo build a model? Why are Mondays always so hectic? Just between you and me, where Uncle Lyle's lessons end, Dodo's begin. <laughs> So what do you think? Pretty dexterous for a feathered vertebrate. Hey, New! What do you think of the train Louie and I built? Cool! How does it stop? Um, this switch here is either for the brakes or the afterburner. Hey! Glad you stopped by, Louie. It gives us a chance to talk. Impart some of my wisdom, if you know what I mean. Not a clue. <sighs> For example, at the end of a day of grazing, one comes away with something very special. Green teeth? Fiber. That's the problem with being a good listener. Too soon in life, you've heard it all. of the ways of the Wild Kingdom. Oh, stop worrying, Lyle. We'll find him. It's hopeless. Louis could be anywhere. I've taught him nothing but irresponsibility and incompetence. It takes a village to raise a child. Uh, uh, especially a hoodlum like that kid. Well, let's find him before he stirs up any more trouble. Aren't these the tracks of a little red wagon? Either that or two snakes in a remarkably straight line. But how can we tell which way it went? Relax, Lyle. Remember, I have led the annual migration of over 500,000 wildebeest, impala, zebra, and countless other species of antelope and buffalo to winter grazing lands. Thanks, New. So which way do these tracks go? Beats me. All right, we better split up. One of us should go... I feel sorry for anyone who isn't young and out of control. Poor Louie. He must be petrified without all my wilderness experience. Really should have seen that coming. <coughs> oh no! Rickety bridge! Help! I can't move! Help oh, me! Here. Here. You're safe! It's okay. Poor Lyle. Nobody's been able to safely cross Rickety Bridge in years. Maybe so, but don't you know one brave soul who'd risk his life to save Lyle? Of course I do, Eugene. You heard her. This is ridiculous. Huh? I wouldn't hear of letting you do this. 
You go. Can't. Uh, I splinter easy. Guys. All right. Okay. As usual, saving the day has been left up to the good-natured packader. I think I smell a peanut. Is the situation hopeless? Can anyone save Lyle? Louie, your wandering off with Tito was wrong, and some disciplining is in order. You will have to remain safely nestled in this comfy hammock until I darn well say so. And believe me, Louie, this is going to hurt me a lot more than it hurts you. He's right. I barely felt a thing. Nobody's coming. Better get help. <laughs> Do you realize what time it is? I'm all dressed for bed. You wouldn't happen to have a three-foot band-aid for Uncle Lyle, would you? You're such a cutie, but cutie. Oh, yes, you are. It's a curse being this cute. Go, oh, coochie, coochie, coo. Coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs>